Hi, I'm Monica McKenzie, and joining me today for this edition of Face to Face is Jillian Hook from the Women's Ultimate Team. So you're the captain on the team here, and mm -hmm. Ultimate Frisbee isn't necessarily the most popular sport in the world, uh -huh. but tell me a little bit about what the team is like and what the sport is like in general. Uh, the sport is um, definitely, there's an interesting culture around Ultimate Frisbee. Um, it was kind of, kind of be, everyone thinks about, you know, standing around, going out and playing catch with your friends, uh, but Ultimate Frisbee has really worked hard like as a sport to um, really emphasize uh, the level of athleticism that it requires mm -hmm. um, and has worked to promote Ultimate as a professional sport. Um, and while it's not on the same level of popularity as other sports, it um, everyone, pretty much everyone can play Ultimate Frisbee in some form mm -hmm. and it's really um, it's, a, it's a really broad category and you can play it just for fun or you can play it really competitively and and do amazing things um, because the the medium is a it's a disc instead of a ball there are things that you can do that you can't do in any other sport mm -hmm. um, is very unique and so that's really cool and as I said earlier you're the captain on the team mm -hmm. a lot of your teammates and coaches really look up to you and your leadership skills so how has this sport had an impact on your life? Well, um, Ultimate is, like I said, it's, it's unique from other sports. And one of the aspects of that is the idea of um, the spirit of the game, which basically means that the following the rules and having integrity is more important than winning or losing. So um, it's definitely taught uh, problem solving. You have to do a lot of conflict resolution. Um, if there's a foul that occurs, uh, you talk it over with the, the opposing team, and they have a and it's not officiated, so um, it's officiated by the players, and that really means that you have to understand how the game is played. You have to understand the rules, and you also have to be willing to work with people um, with whom you don't necessarily agree. Mm -hmm. Well, this summer you got some shocking news. You were diagnosed with cancer, so you've been battling that. Tell me a little bit about what that experience has been like for you. Yeah, so in August, I um, went to the dermatologist about a mole on my leg. It, um, I had been once before, and he told me to keep an eye on it, and so uh, I noticed that it kind of started changing. And so I went back and figured that, you know, it might as well get it looked at. And he called me um, the next week and said, so you have cancer. Here are, you know, and, and here are the things that you're going to need to do mm -hmm. in that this is, um, he said I had melanoma, mm -hmm. um, which is the m most serious form of skin cancer, so that was kind of scary. Yeah. Um, it definitely was a lot to wrap my mind around. I, I cried a lot, <laughs> but um, through it all, I kind of found um, a peace in knowing that, um, you know, if, if this is what the Lord had planned for me, you know, in my, in, in my life, then that was something that he would either prepare me to, um, deal with it. He would, and, and if I, you know, and I was faced for the first time with the thought of like, you know, this could, this could kill me. Mm -hmm. Um, I could die from this. Um, because actually I didn't think that skin cancer was that serious, but melanoma is on the same level as breast cancer mm -hmm. in terms of, um, like seriousness of cancer. Yeah. And so, um, it was kind of a crazy random circumstance that I, I was able to go and visit the dermatologist when I did. Um, I was about to leave to come back to school. It was crazy because I was able to get into uh, the University of Michigan Hospital. Um, and that was really cool because they have one of the best melanoma clinics in the world. And so just to have that opportunity to kind of know that um, that was going to be okay. And then and then I had surgery, and it was, again, it was definitely scary. Yeah. Um, I could walk right after surgery. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't run until probably six weeks after surgery mm -hmm. or, or eight weeks after surgery. Yeah. Um, and so that was, it was frustrating not to be able to play, um, to be around my friends who were, who were playing mm -hmm. and having fun. And, um, but it also uh, gave me more appreciation for um, what I you know, what I can do, and, and now that I'm mostly back to normal, um, it's 
really been cool to, and, and it just makes me value the ability to play a lot more. Yeah. Um, and the results were good. Uh, they tested everything and um, the margins were clear from what they had taken out and there wasn't anything found in my lymph nodes. So um, I don't have to have more surgery. I didn't have to have any sort of chemotherapy. Um, I was able to go back to school when I was supposed to and get started on my classes. And mm -hmm. so that was um, really a blessing. And yeah, now I'm really hopeful to <laughs> continue out the rest of the season and s hopefully stay healthy. Well, now that you're on the road to recovery and getting back to your normal life and fitness level, what are your expectations for the season and personal goals for yourself, but also for the team? My personal goals are to um, get back to the level of fitness that I was at before surgery um, and to actually surpass that. So I'm hoping to be faster and to be able to jump higher. And then my goals for the team is, um, is to end up in going to nationals at the end of the season. So during our last tournament, we played UVA and they're the um, 11th ranked team in the nation. And we lost them by one point and they were so impressed by our, um, our level of play that our, our cheer at the end of the game together when we came together as, as both teams um, was two bids, two bids to nationals. Mm -hmm. um, our, our region generally has one bid to nationals, but um, if we do well enough, if our, if our region as a whole does well enough to earn two bids to regionals, we hope to take that second bid and yeah. go for the first time in the program history. Yeah, well, best of luck with that this season Thanks. and also with your health. Best thank of you. luck with that recovery. Thank you for sitting down with us. All right, thank you for having me.